return of westerlies, that means also the return of wet weather on the western coast. As we go through the rest of uh, Wednesday, we're going to find that wet weather piling in towards Fiordland and Westland, and also up in towards those ranges of Buller. And then for the North Island, the likes of Mount Taranaki and the Tamarua Range. Now as this feature pulls away, we find a bit of a respite through the first part of Thursday. But you can see, wait in the wings, another area of wet weather. And as we head through Thursday daytime, and we're especially through and towards Friday, more rain piles back in towards Fiordland and Westland, and some of it will spill across into towards those headwaters of Otago and Canterbury. So because of that, we've issued some severe weather watches, and you can see quite nicely where that rain's going to fall on this uh, rainfall accumulation chart. It's mainly on that western coast. Again, the heaviest rainfall up in the ranges of Westland and Buller and in towards Fiordland, and for the North Island, Mount Taranaki, and also the Tower River Range. But we'll find some heavier falls of rain pretty much, pretty much on that western side, but the heaviest up about the ranges. So for the rest of Wednesday and through towards the very early part of Thursday for those North Island sites, we are going to find that wet weather piles in and we have those severe weather watches in place. Now they're with us uh, through the daytime across the South Island, through to around about 9, 10, 11 o'clock down on the South Island and for the North Island through to the early hours of Thursday morning. Now as I say, as we go through Thursday, we see a bit of a brief break between those uh, heavy bands of rain. But as we head through towards the end of the day, more wet weather pushes back in towards those southern parts of uh, Fjord, uh, southern parts of Westland in towards Fjordland. And you can see by those brighter colours out towards Otago and Southland, some of that rain has been pushed across by those stronger northwesterly winds. And so because of that, we've also issued some severe weather warnings. Now these are running after those watches we'll see through the rest of uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And these are run through in towards uh, the second part of Thursday and in towards uh, Friday itself. So particularly for the likes of say Fjordland and those southern parts of Western, south of Oteira, and particularly up in towards the ranges there. 150 to about 200 millimetres of rainfall and down through Fjordland and 100 to about 200 millimetres of rain through there. We've also got to watch out for that rain spilling across uh, the higher ground of the Southern Alps and feeding in towards those headwaters of the lakes and rivers of Canterbury and Otago. So it doesn't look like we've got more wet weather to come. And it's worth keeping an eye on the wind speeds over the next couple of days, especially up towards those uh, classic sites like Wellington, Wairapa and those inland parts of Canterbury. It looks like we've got some more blustery conditions returning as we head through towards Friday. For all the latest on those forecasts and for all the watches and warnings, head along to metservice.com. <laughs>